Good morning guys, I hope you're well. In this lesson we're going to be focusing on finding a percentage of a particular amount. Okay, so I'm going to start the lesson off with a question for you. I'm going to ask you, when do you see percentages outside of a maths lesson? So I'd like you to pause the video and think of as many examples as you can and then I'm going to tell you the ones that I've thought of. Okay, so one example you might have thought of is um, on a phone screen. So whenever you charge your phone, um, a percentage comes up. So that tells you how much battery life there is left. Okay, so another example that I thought of, um, well, this is taken from one of the best nights of my life. It's when my team Celtic beat Barcelona 2-1 with only 11% possession of the ball. So that means that for only 11% of the match did Celtic actually have the ball. Most of the match Barcelona had the ball, but Celtic still managed to score more goals. Another example I can think of is when a shop does a sale, they might have something like a 70% off sale. So there's lots of examples where you see percentages outside of a maths lesson. So let's say 100% represents your original amount. So if 100% represents a number, so have a look at how 50% fits into 100%. Well, 50% fits in exactly two times, which is why to find 50% of a number, we divide the original number by two. So if that's how to find 50%, let's think how we find 25%, 5% and 10%. Well, how many 25% fit into 100%? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 lots of 25 fit into 100, which means that to find 25%, we must divide it by 4. And that's why 25% represents 1 quarter. OK, so for our next one, let's think, well, how many 5% fit into 100%? Well, 20 lots of 5% fit into 100%. So we could divide the original number by 20 if we're looking to find 5%. But there, there are other ways as well. So to find 5%, well, you could take 25% and divide it by 5 because there's 5 lots of 5% in 25%. Or another way people like to do it is find 50% first and then divide it by 10 because 10 lots of 5% fit into 50%. And then finally, well, how do we find 10% of a number? Well, we know that 10 10s fit into 100. So to find 10% of a number, we simply divide it by 10. OK, so let's put these skills to the test. So our task is going to be to complete this grid. I'm going to do the top row for you and then you can finish it off. So first of all, if 16 pounds is the original number that I'm starting with, we're going to call this number 100%. So our starting number is always 100%. Well, if I know that my starting number is 100%, so if I know 16 pounds is 100%, to find 50%, remember we said 50% just means divide it by two, or half it, and half of 16 pounds is eight pounds. So I'm going to write an eight pounds in my table like this. Okay, so what, where can I go from here? Well, if I know what 50% is, how do I get from 50% to 5%? What calculation takes me from 50 to 5? Well, if I divide 50 by 10, that gives me 5%. So if I divide £8 by 10 to get 80p, uh, that gives me 5% of £16. OK, so next one. Um, how do I find 10% of a number? Well, think back to what we just said. Well, to get from 100% to 10%, we divide that number by 10. So I must divide 16 by 10 to get £1.60. And then finally, how do I find 25% of a number? Well, remember what we just said? We said that um, four lots of 25 go into 100. So to get from 100% to 25%, I must divide it by four. So how many four, how many four is going to 16? Well, it's four, it's four pounds. So I've attached your worksheet for you on Google Classroom. This is task one. Please, can you um, complete this grid? OK, and here are your solutions that you should have got. OK, so let's move on to trickier percentages then. So if I'm trying to find 5% of 90, for example, well, 90 is my original amount. My original amount, I always call 100%. Well, how do I get to 5%? Well, there's a few ways you could do it, but one way you could do it is, well, if we divide it by 10 to get 10%, um, 90 divided by 10 gives me 9. And how do I get from 10% to 
to 5%. What calculation takes me from 10 to 5? Well, I'm dividing by 2, aren't I? So what's half of 9? Well, it would be 4.5. 5% of 90 is 4.5. What about a trickier percentage like 15% of 90? So can you think of a strategy for me to work out 15%? So I might need to do it in quite a few steps here. Well, one thing I could do, um, I can steal that working out that we just done. So this is exactly what we just done here to get 5%. And how do I get from 5% to 15%? What calculation takes me from 5 to 15? Well, if I multiply it by 3, 5 times 3 gives me 15. So 3 lots of 4.5 gives me 13.5. And this will be my answer. Another way you could have done it. Well, you could have said, well, 10% plus 5% gives me 15%. So 9 add 4.5 gives me 13.5. So either one of those strategies is equally fine. OK, so please could you find task 2 on your worksheet um, where you're finding these trickier percentages of numbers, please. OK, and then if you have enough time and if you fancy it, you're more than welcome to try the challenge at the end. So that's where you need to um, put one number per square and make all of these make all these rows true.